In Zimbabwe, more than 74,000 children and adolescents are living with HIV. Antiretroviral medicines are life-changing for those infected, but treatment alone is sometimes not enough. AfricAid, a community-based organization, runs a program led by adolescents, all of whom are living with HIV themselves, who support other young people with an HIV diagnosis and help them lead happy and healthy lives. And guys, the last day that I am going to go to test, I will be tested and HIV positive. Pangwe and guys, we share the world. Singa, it is guys as gamchir. So we don't dangar road. Zang, we are going to change the way. We are going to open your angwa, wagu mandi. Now, just when you are going to see so, the HIV positive. As for the guys, we are not going to be kids. We are going to go to gamchir. Status, I am going to change the way. I am Paris, you know, Dangaro Zangwa, and Sinan as Nets, and Nets, Panesia, send out to Fungam Nesaganak, I'm sure Gang Dagnos Ganak, out and Angua, Nazi in the Kamnes Ganak, Pasna and Adam Buzik. Just like Liosa, there are 74,000 adolescents living with HIV in Zimbabwe. With ARVs, it means they are now growing up into adulthood and living healthy, normal lives. But young people's success on treatment is reliant on their ability to adhere to medicines every day for life. This is affected by many issues, including the death of parents and siblings, fears for their future, isolation and feeling different from their peers. But hope is not lost, as a group of HIV-positive young people are on the front lines providing the much-needed peer support, known as CATS. One such young man is Maxwell, who has been living with HIV for the past four years and is passionate about issues others like him face. It's an acronym which stands for Community Adolescent Treatment Supporters. And the kids are peer counselors who work with the children, adolescents and young people living with HIV, ensuring that they have the appropriate and correct information and providing them counseling they need to live happy and healthy and fulfill their lives. The CATS work alongside the government healthcare workers, bridging the gap with young people and strengthening the national system and response to the emerging, evolving needs of young people living with HIV. We started working with kids that is uh, 2016. Um, the case became a language. It has helped erase stigma. When they come for support groups, they were able to understand their own care and they were able to understand that they are not alone. Young people living with HIV used to do much worse than adults on HIV treatment. But this has changed with the CATS program. The health facilities are finding that adolescents are managing to do just as well on treatment and their mental health is also improved. Part-time, I'm going to need one, and I'm going to need one. Sure, I'm going to see what's going on. I'm going to go to clinic. But part-time, I'm going to need one. I'm going to go to the doctor. 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 I'm and we find that since then, most of them had recovered very well. Antiretroviral treatment can change the life of an adolescent living with HIV. But this medication alone is not enough. This is where the power of the peer comes in, where an adolescent living with HIV is supported by another adolescent living with HIV. Treatment works better in this regard. To no offer counseling about my issues, I want to say that I am going to have issues of stigma. Then, for the issue, we do my support group, facilitate my support group, whereby my adolescents are now here to engage, to share my issues, to discuss my issues, my topics, my and check out my sexual reproductive health. There are currently 1,500 cats across Zimbabwe and another 500 in other countries in the region.
If this intervention continues to expand to other parts of the country and region, the program could make a huge difference in adolescents living with HIV. If it's expanded, it will be very helpful to all adolescents and young children living here in Zimbabwe. I think that would be very perfect if it's done. There is an old adage that says, life is like a bicycle. No matter what you face, keep pedaling if you do not want to fall off. If the world adopts and values the contributions of the cats, there's potential to stem the failing trends in adolescent HIV.